Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad. I'm your tall tailor. Long time no see, man. It's been a while. It's been like two months. Hope you guys have been doing well. Drinking water, eating vegetables, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, in today's uh, in today's video, we're not going to be making anything like custom or anything crazy like that. We're actually just gonna be doing some alterations, some pretty straightforward alterations. I have two dresses here that um, need a little bit of, need a little bit of tinkering done and I thought I would show them to you guys and go over the thought process of what we're doing um, so that hopefully maybe you guys can get some information out of this and translate to your future projects to help you guys out when you, uh, you know, hit roadblocks or stumbles or don't really know what to do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab the dresses so I can show you guys. Uh, so the first, actually the first one I have like right right here. Uh, first one is like a floral kind of number. Uh, I'll show some B-roll so you guys can see it a little bit better. The second one's a longer, more like ball gowny type dress. Uh, I'm not gonna grab it right now, but uh, yeah, these are the two garments we're gonna be altering. Let's get sewing. Now, before starting any alteration, always take a good look at the garment and see what needs to be done. This dress has a sheer top layer and a darker, you know, more opaque under layer and we're going to be shortening the dress. So for the dress, first thing I do is I separate the two layers and I look at the stitch underneath the dress. Here you can see it's a simple straight stitch with overlocking on it. So I'm gonna take my seam ripper and undo the stitch and the overlocking. Now, if I were to do this entire thing with my seam ripper, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take like a million years, so I'm not really trying to do that. So here you can see me take out my razor blade, which is going to make the process go so much faster. I really like using razor blades instead of the seam ripper, number one, because they're cheap and number two because they're like always sharper than the seam ripper uh, so if you don't like if you never use a razor blade before i definitely recommend doing it one thing you do want to note though is that it's really sharp so it might cut the fabric so go really slowly if you're not too comfortable with using it and also it's a lot easier to cut your hand so be be careful maybe wear like a thimble or something anyway um after all that is cut as you can see here i separated the top from the bottom now i'm taking the top and I am just pressing it down on low heat because um, this fabric does not take uh, well <laughs> with high heat. So really, really low heat, pressing it nice and flat. And now I'm going to cut off some fabric from the top here. I think I cut off two and a half or three. How much is that? Is that three, two and a half? I don't know. I cut off like two and a half or three inches from the top of the garment uh, because that's the amount that we decided that needed to go. Chop that off. And now the, um, the top portion of the dress is a little bit shorter. And now we're just going to reattach the top and the bottom. Um, first thing I did is I aligned the side seams so that the dress would be nice and more, you know, more proportional so that the seams weren't being all over the place. Um, this fabric is a little bit slippery, so it's kind of hard to pin. Um, so I made sure I added a couple of pins. Now I'm taking over to the sewing machine, threading the, <laughs> threading the machine there and then just stitching the entire thing. And then later on, I'm going to take it to the serger and just, uh, re overlock the edges. All right, so first dress done. That didn't take too long. It took about an hour and a half. I started at nine and it's like 10.20. Yeah, an hour and a half. Took a little break in the, in the middle part there, but I'll show you guys what I have done. So it looks exactly the same. <laughs> it, looks, it looks exactly the same, um, which is good. That's a good thing. Uh, so I'll show you what I did. Um, I'll just sort of briefly explain it again. I took the midsection of the dress, split it in half, trimmed off the top and reattached the bottom to the top of the, the dress. Now, the reason why I did it like that instead of um, taking off from the bottom is because the proportions of the bottom were really nice, like the skirt portion, but the top part was a little bit too long. So that's why we decided to take off from the top instead of just trimming it at the bottom. It would have been a little bit easier to trim from the bottom, but it looks a lot better when it's done like this. Um, onto, the, onto the next dress. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Next up, we have our second dress. This one is even more straightforward than the first. Uh, we're just cutting off the length from the bottom. But as you can see here, this dress also has two layers and it's a lot of material. Um, I don't remember entirely what the circumference of the dress was, but it's like, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of material. Here you can see there's a baby hem at the bottom. So we're gonna have to be um, replicating that. And here the top layer and the bottom layer are just attached by a small piece of thread. And I'm just gonna cut that off so I can separate the two more fully. Now, one thing I did notice when uh, opening this up is that the uh, the top layer of the dress has like a French seam. It's actually so nice to see these things in the wild. Um, I always like seeing these, they always look so uh, I don't know, professional and well done. Um, so I like seeing French seams. If you guys don't know how to make them, um, definitely look into that and try adding them to your garments. Really cool, it's really nice. 
All right, so now that I have the top and the bottom layer separated, I'm gonna just pin the top layer. Wait, no, this is the bottom layer. Yeah, yeah, I'm pinning the bottom layer together, so I'm gonna make it a lot easier to cut. I think for this one, I'm taking off maybe six or seven inches. I'm taking off a considerable amount of uh, length from the bottom, it's just a little bit too long. Um, so I'm gonna be pinning it together so it's a lot easier to cut. How much is that, six, six and a half inches? Seven, seven, how much is that? Yeah, six and a half. Okay, I'm taking off six and a half inches and I'm just chalking the lines all over the bottom of the hem and I'm gonna do that for the entire, um, yeah, circumference of the dress. You can see me doing that there and the pins are right there. Um, after I um, chalk the, what am I even saying? After I chalk the bottom of the dress, um, I always wanna make sure that the ruler is perpendicular to the hem of the dress as to make sure that the length is correct. Um, I'm gonna take out my scissors and just cut the, uh, cut the bottom. All right, now that that's done, I take the dress and I hang it back up just to make sure that the entire bottom of the dress is straight. Um, that's really important so that's not warped or anything like that. Uh, now to replicate that baby hem, I'm using this, uh, I forget what this foot's called, but it's like a rolled hem foot, I think. It makes like a tiny hem at the bottom. That's really good for making uh, stuff with like um, thinner fabrics if you wanna get a really small hem. And this is what the hem looks like with the uh, rolled foot machine. It looks virtually identical to the original hem. And I'm just doing that over the entire circumference of the bottom of the dress. Um, it doesn't really take too long, but it can be a little bit finicky. So I definitely do recommend if you plan on using this, get a little bit of practice in. You know, don't try it immediately first on the garment you're gonna use, get some practice in so you know how the machine works and how the foot feels. Okay, one more thing after I finished up the length, um, there was a complaint of the dress being a little bit tight on the back. So I tried to see if I could take out, take out, if I could let out a little bit of material. There was a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of material on the zipper area. So I'm just taking my seam ripper and I'm uh, letting that out. I definitely don't recommend using a razor blade here. Use the seam ripper. You can really get underneath the individual threads and get more of a clean, uh, better, better finish here. So I just ended up removing the zipper and reattaching it with more fabric exposed as to let out a little bit more space on the back of the garment. And now I'm just going to pin it and top stitch it again onto the dress. Now this part, pinning and sewing did take a little bit more time because I went slowly. I wanted to make sure that everything lined up well and that the stitches weren't too obvious on the back. Lastly, I'm taking my hand needle and doing some finishing work on the interior of the dress so that the zipper doesn't feel too abrasive on the back there. Um, also, there are these two hooks on the top and they kind of fell out of alignment when I took the zipper off. So I'm just taking the hand needle, reattaching it so that they all line up perfectly. Unfortunately, I forgot to film an outro, but the dresses end up fitting well, which is the important part. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully not two months away, um, or maybe you know, it might, it might be two months away, it might be three months, who knows? It might be next week, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, catch you guys in the next video, bye.